iPro Hydrate, proud sponsors of UCMMA and WCMMA. Bartosz Kwiatkowski, 23 old, from Rzeszów, from Poland, Syndicate Gym. I am Oleg Litwinenko, I am from Ukraine, uh, and I am introduced to Gym Titan. I am training everything, I am ready to fight. I have been training very hard, I have been exhausted, I am ready for it. Good luck. Bartosz, I am ready for you, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is sponsored by iPro Sports and is scheduled for three rounds of mixed martial arts action in the UCMMA under 75 kilogram category. Fighting out of the red corner, this fighter weighing in at 74.5 kilograms. He represents Team Titan from the Ukraine. He is Oleg Litvin. And fighting out of the blue corner, this fighter weighed in at 74 kilograms. He represents the Syndicate Gym from Poland. He is Bartosz Kwiatkowski. So here we go, they get underway. Oleg in the red and black. Poland versus Ukraine, Rob, and Oleg Litvin is very hungry. Nice shot there. Bartosz comes forward beautifully. Yeah. Good hands. Kwiatkowski has got a very good uh, kickboxing pedigree back in Poland, Rob. Um, and it looks like both these guys are happy to stand and bang. Tempted that uh, cheeky little oblique kick that's uh, become popular now. It looks like, uh, well, I say it looks like, for sure. Kielkowski's giving away quite a bit of range. Good wrestling, good grappling. Both working very well. Bartoski almost got the back, ends up yes. underneath. Oleg on top. And these guys from Eastern Europe, you know, the Balkan areas, Russia, Poland, they're all, they all wrestle. Um, so when they move into MMA, they, they have got, you know, it's easier for them to become well-rounded in a quicker amount of time, I feel. Yeah, I think a lot of that is just understanding the body mechanics, isn't it? And through wrestling, let's be honest, there's not many positions they don't get into. No, but you know, oh, the arm bar beautiful, attempt. Beautiful, He looks deep. Well, that was a wow. great transition to that arm bar. And Kwiatkowski there, sort of outpowering the bigger Oleg Litvin. Oleg pulled that arm free, Grant. Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, very skilled. Both these guys here, they've got a handful of fights between them. Fighting like seasoned professionals. And it's worth remembering, they're so inexperienced. This is an amateur mixed martial arts contest. They've got the slightly bigger gloves on. But they, they could compete in the pro ranks quite easily, I feel. Beautiful move to mount position. That was a great position move there. 
looking to posture up now, create some space. Kvetkowski controlling Litvin very well. Sits up. Last 10 seconds. I think we're going to see this round out, Rob. But this is a high level fight, isn't it? For two very inexperienced MMA fighters. Great work from both guys. Both of them coming out of great camps, Grant. And they worked really, really hard in that first round, Rob. And I would have given that first round to Poland. Kwiatkowski. There, we open it with a very nice right hand from Litvin. Litvin stalking his man now with those hands. He's got that range advantage. Bartosz with a good combination coming forward there. Punctuated with that leg kick. Nice inside kick there. Oh. It's interesting, Rob. You see that spinning back kick there. You know how uh, techniques can become popular. You see, you know, they've become effective in the UFC, and then the, the younger, hungrier fighters coming up, they, they've got the confidence to try them out. Yeah, it definitely works. I mean, they, they start in the gym. Looking for that guillotine, very difficult to get with that arm inside. And Oleg fighting hands. Nice knee there on the break from Kutkowski. He's looking tired now, is our Polish man. Nice low kick though. Yeah, Kwiatkowski is blowing hard now. He's he's still effective in what he's doing. But it looks like Litvin's tank has got more gas in it right now. That was a very quick Superman punch from Bartosz. Yeah, it didn't quite connect, but the movement was really quick. You can see the pace has got to the Polish fighter. Nice teep there. Bartosz coming forward again. Oleg with good hands, fast hands. Litvin hasn't thrown one low kick yet. He's having more success. He's got his range now, I think. Kwiatkowski is still dangerous, as you can see. Bartosz with that single, gets it to the canvas. They slide across the canvas. Yeah. Hot and sweaty. And Kwiatkowski, he's got mount already. He's taken the fight, he was puffing standing up, and it's a different kind of fitness on the ground. So the pace has changed now. It's still tiring. But it's more anaerobic, fighting on the ground. Stood up, it's very aerobic. Good shots, just on the bell. Here we go then, the cage door shuts. Third and final round, Poland versus Ukraine. I think it's a round apiece, so everything to fight for here in the final three minutes. Went for that takedown, didn't quite get it, rolls beautifully. Switches round, looks for that armbar, such quick transitions, Grant. Very high level fight this for two uh, inexperienced amateurs. We, don't, we never know the true background of some of these fighters who are coming from Europe. But very evenly matched nevertheless. Now, Litvin has got a lot more in the tank at this stage of the fight than our Polish fighter, Bartosz Kwiatkowski. And he needs to capitalise on this. But Kwiatkowski still dangerous going for an armbar there. Bring your hands to your chest, frame in his neck, 
Kepkowski. Small shot, let's go, small shot, small shot. Last round. He's doing a reasonable job here of defending against the strikes. Bartosz looking for that sweep. Didn't quite get it. Well, what he's going to, I was just about to say, he's going to push off the cage. Push up, push up. Trying all sorts to get out of this position to reverse it. And I think a better game plan for Litvin would be to get the fight back to its feet. Kwiatkowski is tired, and I think he could he can win the round with stand-up strikes. Yes, that's it. Big shots. More shots with your right hand. Shots with your right hand. Let's go. Oleg Litvin's corner there, saying to him, "Stay busy." He's in top position. He's not active enough, is he? Yes. No, it's a very stalled round compared to the other two. At this stage, there he's got his guard back. At this stage, if I was the referee, I'd certainly be thinking about standing them back up. Yes, they look a little bit active, but is the fight progressing towards a finish? And I would say no. Although there's another submission attempt from Kwiatkowski. They come out of nowhere. Yeah, Bartosz shot, constantly shot, looking shot. for a submission. Back to their feet. So they are back to their feet. Last 10 seconds. Come on, guys, throw everything you've got. It's going to go the distance, Rob. And there we go. Sound of the bell. And over to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, after three fantastic rounds of international UC MMA action, we go to the judges' scorecards and we have a unanimous decision in favour of your winner.